Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and during this series of livery editor videos, we are looking at how I created my most recent car livery. I deliberately went for a more minimalistic livery and one that was clean and modern looking. And I wanted a color scheme that was red, black and white and one that featured color gradients. Over this series of four videos, we will look at the creation of the SVG files that we used, both basic and more advanced SVG files. We look at using the livery editor's built-in color gradient panels to paint our car. And then we will look at the placement of sponsor decals, where to find those decals and more. In this first video, we will look at where to find basic SVG files and how to create a basic SVG file from a standard image file. This video does not talk about using SVG files as a part of the GT7 game because we will cover that topic and locate and use numerous SVG files from within the game in the last video in this series. Throughout this series of videos, I will be using various image files. It is important to note that you must always get permission to use any image file that is not your own. In other words, an image file that you have not physically created yourself. If you are using somebody else's image file, you must either get written permission, you must purchase a license to use that image file, or you must acquire some other form of license to use that image file. You cannot simply download something off of the internet and assume that it is yours to use as you need. My advice is always to be very sure that you have adequate permission to use the images that you plan to use on your cars. For the avoidance of doubt and with the exception of the in-game images, I have sought and obtained permission to use all of the images used within this video. So there are lots and lots of different ways of acquiring or creating your files that you're going to convert to SVG for Gran Turismo 7. Now, the first thing that you need to keep in mind is that they need to be 15K or smaller. And that tends to be one of the hurdles. Now, in Photoshop here, I've got a couple of images. I've got the Revelation software logo, which we are going to convert in a moment very quickly and very easily to a file that we can just use straight out of the box. Alternatively, there is a graphic here that I have used. This is the number that I use on the bonnet of my cars. And this has got quite a lot of detail in it, which will not automatically convert and we will need to do some more work on it. So we'll come to that particular graphic a little bit later. So you can create your own graphics within a, an, edit, uh, an image editor like Photoshop. Alternatively, you can also head out to the Internet and just do a search for SVG files. And there are lots of different sites out there. So I've just done a search on World Director Logo for Dr. Pepper. You could grab a particular image file and just download that as an SVG file. If that downloads to smaller than 15K, then happy days, you will be able to use that. And if we just go to where that file is located, and we just have a look at the properties here, then you will see that we are at 12.7K, so we can upload that directly to Gran Turismo and use that. However, if you have downloaded that file and you find that it is over 15K, then you're going to need to do some work on it. And we will cover that in the next video. Now, one of the other things that we can do is if we've got an image file of our own, so one that we can't find out there on the internet or one that we cannot license out there on the internet, then we can use a image conversion site to do that work for us. So my revelation logo here, I've got as a standard PNG file. It could be a JPEG, it could be a bitmap. I happen to like PNG files. And if we go back to the internet, there's a number of sites out there that will convert standard image files to SVG files. I just happen to use Convertio, so I've used it and I find it to be very reliable. So in here, we can just go choose files. We'll grab our Rev logo. We'll open that. And you can see that the file is currently 23.5K. We will select 
image and SVG that we want to change it into. And we can convert that. And that will then go away and it will convert that file for us into an SVG file, which is 709 KB. And we can download that and then we can upload that to Gran Turismo. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. I'm just going to go to Gran Turismo. We are in the decal uploader. I'm going to open the file browser. I'm going to grab both of these two files and open. They both appear, upload. And they're now both available to me within the game. And we'll have a look at that in video number four, where we start to add decals to our car. So in this video, we've had a very, very quick look at using basic SVG files. You've obviously got the SVG files that are available to you in the game, and they're all properly licensed and everything else. That is the first place to go and look at them, look for them. And we will look at that process in video number four in this series. You can also jump out into the internet and do a search. So if I did a search for Tesla, for instance, and come back, I can get a load of images for Tesla, download those and use them. You can also upload your own file to a SVG conversion site, such as this one. And then finally, when you've got them all to below or 15K or below, then you can upload them using the Gran Turismo site, the decal uploader. In the next video, we are going to be looking at working with a slightly more complex file where we're going to need to get the file size down from a higher number to 15. And we're going to do that in a number of ways. So please join me for that video. If you are a current subscriber, thank you ever so much for following along. But if you are new to the channel, then please consider hitting the subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications on when the next video in this series is released. And if they are all released, then I will link to them at the end of this video. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye bye.